Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here with Geekazine. We got a tutorial for the QSC Touch Mix, how to run this app on a Windows PC. It can be done, I kid you not. I have it right here, right down here uh, on the computer. First of all, Jeffrey Powers at Geekazine, Think Magazine, put in the geek. And I'm gonna tell you something. I, if you're a musician, I, I'm, I'm in the tech, you know, I'm in the gadget tech, you know, like drones and stuff like that. I'm in the music tech because I'm a musician. So. Uh, I love to have really cool get gizmos and gadgets when it comes to, to playing music to make my life a lot better. Uh, and the QSC Touch Mix 16 and the Touch Mix 8, exactly that. It's the size of a laptop, and it does what they used to cart in these big old carts and, and mixing boards, consoles, and stuff like that. This is perfect for a small band like the ones that I play in. Uh, I can do a solo or a duo show and everything like that. It's a great... Here, I'll show you. This is what it looks like right here. This is the QSC Touch Mix. They have the Touch Mix 8 and the Touch Mix 16. Built-in compression, built-in gates, built-in effects. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with this. You can even record from this to straight up to a SSD drive through USB. It's, it's a great mixer, but there's one... One, one gaping problem with this mixer, and that is even though it hooks up to the wireless and you can run it on your iOS, you can run it on your Android, you cannot run it on a Windows PC until now. I'm going to show you how it's done. It's not the easiest of processes, and it really depends on the computer that you use, but it can be done. Now, I said a Windows PC. There's also there's that possibility it can run on a Mac, but I've only found it for Windows right now, and a, a great program that will allow me to do this. Now, in order to do this, you got to trick the Windows PC that it's an Android device. Now, the Touch Mix is in beta for the Android, so you can you can download it there. And the advantages of this, well, one big advantage is there's a lot of things I can do because I'm running the sound, I'm playing drums. There's three vocalists, and one of the problems I run into is we're trying to change the fader. So when I'm singing, the fader is higher. When one of the other people are singing, the, the fader is higher, and the other faders go down. I can create a macro now, and I can tell the macro to do what it needs to do. Where The other thing is stability. You can build a PC around the touch mix software, have the touch mix in back, and lock it up into a drawer. So let's get into it and let's show you how to do it. And this is this is the big thing. There's it's a piece of software that you need that you have to, you can download. It's free for 30 days. There is a price for it. Now there's other versions of it because basically what it is is an Android emulator. There are a few different versions of Android emulators out there, but this one I found seemed to be the best. It does cost fifteen uh, ten dollars or fifteen dollars depending on how you use it. The name of the software is called AMI Duos. Uh, AM, AMI is an American Megatrends, and they've been around for a long time, and they've done an awesome job on that because I've seen basically this, this software. This software has been running for a couple hours. I've been running back and forth and up and down with it, and it's just been amazing here. So basically, it turn, it, you, you download it, and you install it, and the reason why I like this version better than some of the other Android emulators is because it runs Jelly Bean. And uh, you need, uh, you need either, I think it's Lollipop or above, and I can put Jelly Bean onto this. Uh, that's the Android version that will run the QSC Touch Mix software. So with that said, let's go over here. This is my Windows screen. Um, you can't see the, let's, let's bring up the windows bar. There's the windows. We're running windows 10 on this, uh, on this machine. This is a touch screen laptop as well. So I can set it up into a tablet mode. This is an HP, uh, pavilion X 360, which you can get. Um, and, uh, I just, you just basically download the software and you run it. You got to do a couple extra steps. First of all, you got to turn on your virtualization inside of your BIOS. And if you go up on uh, AMI Duos, you can find out how to do that because um, it's going to be different for each computer. The second thing is you need to make sure that you all the system requirements. So once you download it, you install it, you turn on the virtualization, you got to download a, the a zip file, which then brings the Play Store into action. And this is the key here because you need that Play Store. There it is right there. So you can, uh, so you can download the QSC Touch Mix Beta. 
So once you do that, we'll do that again. We'll go Play Store and we'll go QS, whoops. QSC Touch Mix. There it is right there. And of course, I've already got it installed. There's the beta. This is the version that QSC has. It's still in beta, but it works perfect. So, um, and then of course that installs it on there and we just have to open it up. This is it. And, and, and it's totally touch screen. So I can, uh, go if you've got a touch screen monitor. So now I can, uh, like for instance, with this head mic, which is uh, the scene I have right here, I can bring down my volume and bring it back up if I need to. Bring that over here. Uh, I can mute the FX. I don't think I had any effects going on right there, but I can definitely mute it and go from there. But the other cool thing is now I don't have to have an iPad nearby. I don't have to have a small phone nearby. I can have a PC nearby. I can call up the software and have a little bit more real estate, especially some of these, because uh, I've got a touchscreen computer here, uh, a, a touchscreen monitor that can do uh, larger, uh, lar larger res resolution than an iPad and an iPad Pro for that matter. Laptops right here running the software. And I, you know, it, it's, it's, it's just got a screen. I can do a lot more if I, if I need to use the keyboard or use the touchpad. I can do that as opposed to doing, I can hook up a mouse and actually run it using the mouse. And you have a cursor running through all of this. So I have options when it comes to using the PC. And the best part, like I said, I can now download a macro program. And I'll, I'll show you how to do that in another episode. Download a macro program. And I can say, okay, the main vocals, the secondary vocals, and the third triary vocals. Let's say the triary vocals have the have the next song. They're they're the primary vocals. I can now set up a macro to turn down one and two and turn up three and go from there. That's what's gonna make it easy. That's what's gonna make it cool. I could go on and on about it, but this is this is the game changer I really want. Until QSC Touch Mix makes a version for Windows, which I'm hoping is very soon. We won't have to do this. This is the alternative. So once again, it's a it's a program called AMI Duos. AMI D U O S. You can run uh, it runs Android on your Windows machine 7, 8, and 10. But uh, you can download it, you can install it and run it and run your touch mix software from a PC. And like I said, big game changer right there. So all right, well that's how you do it. If you need more detailed instructions, let me know. I will uh, try and post as much as I can into the comments there. But definitely you can run this. I'm, I'm very excited about this. Hey, if, you, if, you got, if, you, if you're interested, you can PayPal me. You can tip me over at paypal.me forward slash Jeff Powers if you find this stuff useful. But the more important thing is to subscribe over on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash geekazine, geekazine at gmail.com, all that other geekazine goodness. You can find it right there right there. So thanks a lot for watching. My name is Jeffrey Powers. This has been the tutorial, the QSC tutorial for the QSC TouchMix app on a Windows PC, running it and go from there. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys geek out and take care.